Hey, it's Chris Catto, and I'm here to help you create your competitive advantage. Now, in this video, which follows on from our previous video, which was all about creating tables, fields, and relationships, what we're going to do now, since we have created all that, if we went going to file manage database, since we've created all our tables, fields, and relationships, fields, fields on that home page, but anyway, fields and relationships, is we're going to create the home layout or the home page for our little travel app. And specifically, we're just going to show you how to create or change the custom colors, move move around or change the layouts around, and insert images uh, for the purposes of branding it your own way. So this here, this layout here, now what you can do, file manage layouts, when you create your tables, FileMaker very cleverly creates layouts automatically. So I already have the layouts created for my homepage, which is my travel app, my trips, my itineraries, and so on. What we're going to do here, though, uh, actually, if I was to show you, if you were going to create a page from scratch, what you'd do is you'd, you'd do what I just showed you, which was File, Manage, Layouts. Here we go, in here. And you can either go create layouts through here and click on this new layout button, which would then take you through a a, st a stepped process where you literally say, where do you want, so show records from, which table do you want to create layouts from? And then you give the layout a name. So let's call this one, for example, my travel example. And then you choose the device or is it a report that you want to show this on? So for our purposes, we're actually going to create a touch device. We're going to create an, an iPhone or a, or a layout for a, a mobile device. Then it's, is it a form, is it a list, or is it a table view? And these are separate views, or is it going to be a report? These are separate default views that you can have created uh, specifically for managing the layout. So we're going to have a form, and we'll click Finish. And you can see here that we've uh, that FileMaker has cleverly created a default view based on the parameters that we put in, the, the type of layout that we want. It's created the size of the layout that's required. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my travel app because I want to show you how to manipulate it from scratch. How I could navigate back. I'm going to just show you from where we were. So I'm going to navigate back. And to navigate back, you literally click on the drop down box of layouts and you go to the name of the original layout, which is my travel app. What we're going to do here is we're going to click on the edit layout in the top right hand corner. And what this will do is allow us to step in and start manipulating the layout. Now, First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color. And how we're going to create a custom color is simply by uh, right clicking on the header or any part of the field actually, if you want to create a custom. But we're going to change the color of the header. We're going to go into fill color and we're going to choose other color. And in here, we can add custom colors. Now for our little travel app, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to make it a little bit of a purpley ready type color, which is nice and bright and reflects how we our branding that we've just made up. So if I click on custom colors and then change that, should have done that first. So what was that? 132, 11, and 85. So this is the RGB code that we're going to use. And that's a nice little purpley color that we like that we're going to customize our, our colors on. Click OK, click Add to Custom Colors, click OK, and there we have. There we have the uh, custom color that we're going to use. Actually, I'm going to have it in a footer as well. So I'm just going to go to fill color, other colors. Now that you can see it's already in the custom color, I'll just click on the custom color button and then click OK. And now I've topped and tailed my home page. Now, the other thing that you want to do here is because remember, this is the automatic form that's being created or automatic layer that's being created. Now, this button here, or this, this is where we can actually show different grid lines based on what we want to create and we'll give you some guidelines. So if we want to create a iPhone layout with a portrait and we click on this button here, it automatically creates the how it would look on a phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust now our space and pull this back to about here. Yeah, let's make it 12, hey? 12 centimeters. And I'm actually going to change the way I look at things because I like to look at things in points so now you can see that now you can see that it's moving in points so I'm just going to make it three yeah let's 
leave it there for now. It's neither here nor there. Um, and what we're going to do next is we're going to insert our image because we're trying to create our home page here. So let's insert our image. To insert our image, oh, by the way, you can create layouts through the drop down box here as well, by the way. So you can create a new layout over here. Now, to further customize our home page, what we're going to do next is we're going to insert a picture. Now, how do we do that? Well, we go to inserts on the drop down uh, menus at the top, picture, find and navigate to where we need to go or where our documents are. So we're in libraries, pictures, and where's our pictures? YouTube, if I make a YouTube, and we've got YouTube pictures. And we're going to have this lovely picture of some coconut trees on the beach, pristine beach, as our image. Yes, that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this and make it fit into our application. So there it is. So that now fits. Now we've got a home page that will fit and look exactly how we want it. See this auto sizing here? These are little anchors. So what we might do is we might just anchor it so that it will fit into the screens if, for example, somebody's got an iPhone 5 or 4 or 6 and might be just a different size screen. Fundamentally, what we've done now is we've just changed the look and feel of our homepage, which is just tremendous, right? So we've changed the custom colors and we've added an image. In our next video, what I'll show you how to do is to use our text tools and our text shapes to create a heading for ourselves. Stay tuned for the next video.